Hello guys, I, I think I should say good morning because it's like the first episode I've ever recorded during the morning <laughs> or kinda, well anyway so welcome back to a new episode of Pokemon Red Let's Play from Zaki so in the last one we beat Koga well I decided to continue um, right where we were mostly because I had to basically run away <laughs> in, the, in the last episode so you know I just want to talk about the fact that uh, well it was lucky, because mm, if Mac had gotten uh, well luckier, we wouldn't we wouldn't we wouldn't have been able to eat him at all. And well, anyway, Vaporeon was really really clutch. He basically did like uh, three quarters of the job by himself, maybe even more. But well, I'm really happy about it. He's really really strong. I mean. We need strong Pokemon, so <laughs> let's face it, that's a lot of special indeed. Anyway, so, now that, now that we pick Koga, we basically cleared any route that you see here from uh, Fuxia City to Cerulean City, all up there, and even on the left side, the uh, Radiant City, blah blah blah. Sooner or later we will have to go down there, in the city which is uh, south of Pallet Town. Um, that actually I'm going to check how it's named because I don't really remember. Oh wait, that wasn't what I wanted to click. There we go. Tuck. There we go. So we have to go through C Route 21 and Cinnabar Island. Yeah, that's a place we have to go to sooner or later. But before we do that, um, there's something that we did not do which is get our 6th badge already we've gotten a lot here in Saffron City let's go if you remember we have already been, been here actually many times we passed through to be honest but we never really stopped today we're actually going to do the things that you have to do in Saffron City or at least uh, most of them because well this is going to be a really really long uh, uh, city for a specific reason that you're going to see really soon so there we go that was the place I was looking for so in this house there uh, which is of Mr. Psychix you can get uh, a free TM21 which is psychic now I don't really know if any of our Pokemons can learn it uh, drowsy can of course <laughs> well it seems like no one can so Actually, before we do anything else, so let me go. Let me go back to the um, Pokemon Center, and uh, we will place some TMs uh, in the PC in storage because, well, we're running a little low of space. So deposit. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that uh, um, we don't need Psychic. That one, the last one, uh, HM, no sorry, TM06 uh, is, uh, is toxic, but we don't need that. Um, the lift key, I think it was, yeah, we don't need that anymore. Saving goes with the seal scope. Okay, flute, actually I think we need, well, mm, hopefully we won't, uh, um, we won't get stopped by another Snorlax sleeping because I think he can come back. I think we use this. We will put the Super Road away as well since uh, we already have our Water type. We don't need to keep it. These are all HM. That's Swift, I believe. But uh, well, in that in the last fight, uh, it turned out that it could have been really helpful, but uh, still not going to teach to anyone. Actually, yeah. I'm not done, yeah, because I don't need another Moonstone. We need the Leafstone for Gloom, whenever I feel like evolving him. But other than that, we don't need anything else. So, as I said, Saffron City is pretty big. The reason being um, is that, uh, well, we have basically, well, of course a gym, the Saffron City gym, which is a Psychic Type 1. And we have a dojo, which is, well, of course, a place where um, fighting, po fighting Pokemons and trainers gather. And also, the really big thing of this city is this uh, thing, yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> so this is uh, um, Team Rocket's uh, headquarters, basically, Synth Co Office Building, which is basically Team Rocket's headquarters. So, well, whenever we feel like it, uh, we can actually start uh, and um, go all up uh, the building uh, to get to Giovanni again and beat him one last time. But before we do that, uh, I actually want to go to the dojo, I think that's the one, yeah, the fighting dojo. Uh, yeah, wanted to have Pigeon first, uh, Pidgeot, sorry, first, uh, for obvious reasons. Let's go. Let me check... Uh, yeah. I'm never sure, really never sure if I'm recording or not, <laughs> sorry. Okay, let's go with Fly. I think we're just going to spam the move for every single Pokemon. I don't think we need anything else. There we go. Oh, and 38 also. Very nice. Kinda curious if our fully evolved Pokemon will learn any new move anytime soon. I don't really know how it works in this generation because, I mean, of course, fully evolved Pokemon can learn moves, don't get me wrong, but uh, Pokemon such as uh, Needle King. Uh, or um, Vileplum once uh, we will evolve Gloom. Well, they are evolved Pokémon through a stone. If I and if I remember correctly, Pokémon that evolve through a stone don't really learn any new moves once you evolve them. So that's why usually you should try to wait a bit before you evolve them. But still, it depends. So that was easy. Although to be fair, I think it's going to be, it's not going to be hard for any of them. It also kind of looks like that um, we probably should have beat Saffron City before Fuxia City. I mean, the levels are slightly lower, just slightly. There we go. But I don't think it makes. Uh, too much of a too much of a difference. Machok. We're going to fly away again. Hopefully it's a one shot, yes it is. Nothing tough, right? It's me. <laughs> well he breaks boulders, so. It could be scary, but... Oh, only a single Pokémon. Primeape, uh, pro probably... Oof. I... Uh, that's I. That's I, isn't it? I don't quite remember trainers in that route uh, who only had a single Pokémon. Which level was it? Uh, probably it was around this... Yeah, I think it doesn't really... Um, change much if you do Fuchs City before Saffron City or the other way around. Pretty much the difficulty is the same. Okay, sorry, got ganked by my, by my mother. It will probably happen a lot. <laughs> Thing is that well, I'm usually recording during the night, so it's kind of hard to be well night before going to sleep basically, and um, mostly because it's hard to be interrupted if you do that. Of course, I'm now recording uh, um, in a Sunday morning, and uh, well, people are at home. <laughs> Let's go with fly. Yeah, and actually probably you'll hear my voice a little different than usual, that's probably because I've not really just woken up, but kind of there. So, yeah. Anyway, we've gotten to the boss, to the boss, Grant, the Karate Master actually, sorry. Wow. <laughs> I love, I love what they scream every single time, when they have, ch when they have to charge. Hitmonlee, oof, 27, that's high. 
think though that uh, at least with Titmuli, a flash should be enough. Uh, it eight. There we go. Yes, it is. Very nice. Now the next Pokemon will be Itmonchan. Now he could be a little harder to break through, but uh, nothing that a double fly wouldn't would not be able to do. Yeah, almost there also. Comet Punch. Oh, okay. Thought I thought he would go for a stronger move, but well, he didn't. <laughs> And let's go with Quick Attack. What? Well, that was the Dojo. I know it was a bit uh, anticlimactic, but uh, that's the um, that's the thing with having uh, um, good types, basically. <laughs> Not types, sorry. Good type advantage. I will give you prize the fighting Pokemon. So. Once you beat the dojo, you can choose between one of these Pokemons, which is, of course, either Itmoli or Itmonchan. Now, I usually take uh, Itmoli or Itmonchan. To be fair, I don't, I don't think I really have a preference on them, though. I'm going to go with, with, with uh, yeah, Itmoli for now. Like, the reason is that... Uh, Later in generations, uh, Itmonchan starts to learn uh, in really interesting, mo interesting moves such as uh, um, Fire Punch, uh, Ice Punch, uh, Thunder Punch and such. While Itmoli still keeps on just... Uh, oh, to be fair, he has uh, a fire type move. Um, blaze Kick, yeah, Blaze Kick, exactly. But well, anyway, we got him. I think we're going to heal our Pokémon really fast. How much did, 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 did it take to beat the dojo? 12 minutes. Yeah. I mean, I could even go to... Uh, let me think, let me think. I mean, we could go for the... Um, um, for the gym now. The thing is that uh, it's not, it's totally not as fast uh, as uh, Koga was. I mean, Koga wasn't fast either, but still... You know, to get to him, uh, it wasn't too hard. You just had to um, basically uh, walk around the tiles, uh, which we could see for some reasons. Uh, I think I've never noticed that you could see them, or maybe you actually could never see them. Anyway, um, oh, okay, guys. I totally take it back. Seems like that you can fight uh, um, Sabrina. After you beat Team Rocket, so that's what we're going to do. But you see, just to keep things a little more organized, I think I'm going to end the episode here. This is probably going to be the shortest one of them, uh, but still, you know, the next ones will probably will probably be really really long. So <laughs> that makes up for it. So thank you for watching, guys, and we will see each other in the next one. Bye bye. Take care.